Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time, uh, I was perusing my shelf, picking things off, and uh, there was an interesting game staring at me, funny enough. It's a game that I um, originally wanted to do for a horror special, but I did try the disc that I actually had, um, and it didn't work. So quite a while now, over a year ago, I think, at this point, I did actually um, order another uh, version of it. Uh, funny enough, this game was cheap, it was only about five pounds, um, but this disc actually works. Huh. Who would have thought such a thing? Uh, interestingly enough, I actually bought this version of the game from my local CEX, whereas the original disc that I bought that actually looks fine but does not work came from eBay. Now, ordinarily, I could have just um, sent it back to eBay, but I didn't actually try the game for months after I bought it and the seller was no longer available and it was a fiver so you know you win some you lose some but unfortunately that's the shitty thing about buying secondhand games online now this is a very interesting concept the game we are going to be looking at is naughty bear oh my and actually i believe i also have this on playstation 3 pretty sure and that's where i originally tried it but the frame rate is not good um this one actually plays fairly smoothly but it does have screen tear which i don't think the playstation one had but the screen tear is very mild so this is naughty bear and basically you play as a cute little cartoony bear in a happy little um island paradise but you're a bit of a murderous bastard and uh you're a little bit upset at the fact that you're not being um invited to parties and things so there's only one option left really and that's to murder all the other bears uh, <laughs> yes um very interesting concept actually now, it says on the back here, when the other bears threw a party, Naughty Bear wasn't invited. Scorned for the last time, Naughty Bear is extracting his revenge. Now they will pay with their lives. Scare the stuffing out of your victims as Naughty Bear, a lovable misunderstood bear, extracts his revenge on the ill-fated bears of Perfection Island. Oh my. Filled with tons of mischief and a hilarious over-the-top cartoon violence, this one-of-a-kind action game is hours of fun for gamers of all levels. Right, so I actually found out about this game by looking at a 360, like, hidden gem sort of list quite a while ago, actually. Years and years ago, pre-COVID, actually. Um, earn naughty points on global leaderboards by striking terror into the hearts of all bears throughout the sabotage uh, scares and kills now i did notice on the playstation 3 the leaderboards are no longer up and available on the 360 i believe they are which is eh, a thing i guess Naughty Bear's innovative AI, multiplayer modes, and unlockable levels provide gamers with endless hours, endless, it promises, hours uh, of over-the-top macabre gameplay. Torment the other bears in creatively terrifying ways with an assortment of unconventional weaponry and watch them go insane. Oh my, we like that. Evade the fuzz and increasingly dangerous bears as they scramble to defend themselves against your maniac maniac manicidal oh, okay manicidal sure naughtiness well okay um i don't know how much there actually is to this game but there's the disc and the manual not nothing too special to it to be honest uh, i have got a little bit of blurb up here for the game as well 
So, Naughty Bear is a game where you play as a mischievous teddy bear who seeks revenge on the other bears who have bullied and excluded him. You can use various weapons and traps to scare, injure, or kill the other bears, earning Naughty points for your actions. The game has seven episodes, each with a different theme and objective, as well as three downloadable episodes. The game is set in the 1980s on Perfection Island and a place where teddy bears live in harmony, except for Naughty Bear. The game has dark humor and a narrator who comments on your actions. Now, interestingly enough, I did try this. The downloadable levels, which apparently are now free, according to the Xbox, uh, every time you go to download them, or at least every time I've gone to download them, uh, it comes up with an error. So I'm assuming that they're actually no longer available. Because I have tried uh, on different networks. So it's not my internet being screwy. So that's that's a, kind of a shame if you're a completionist. And also a dire warning of the dark, the grim dark future of digital only games. Uh, the game was developed by Artificial Mind and Movement, a Canadian studio that also worked on games such as Wet. That wasn't a bad game, Wet. It was kind of like a Max Payne style arcadey shooter where you played this woman called she's called like crimson or something yeah, um, yeah uh, maybe we'll do that um we'll, we'll fire that for a titan tries pretty sure pretty sure i've got that on my shelf somewhere the game received mixed reviews from critics who praised the concept but criticized the technical issues repetitive gameplay and a lack of variety that's bad the game features many references and parodies of popular culture such as Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Aliens, Friday the 13th, and X-Men. That's... that's a curious mix. <laughs> the game has a sequel called Naughty Bear Panic in Paradise, which was released in 2012 for Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. Alright, I didn't know that. Maybe we should, um... Maybe you should have a look at that then. Right, anyway, let's slap the disc in the 360. I don't think this one's backward compatible, um, considering it's no longer really supported on Xbox Live anymore. That doesn't really... That's the trouble with having only red lights on. It's very dark in here. Just drop the disc. Luckily, it didn't drop far. Anyway, let's switch over. We're going to be using a very in-theme controller today. Gears of War Limited Edition. I like this controller. I like this controller a lot. Right. Let's go. Okay. Naughty Bear. Let's see just how naughty this game actually is, shall we? So, we're going to sign into my account. I have played this, as I said. I've played this on my account. Um, I can't honestly remember with you if I got... I, actually, I, I think I completed, like, the first section or something. I can't actually remember how this game does its sections and things. But anyway, we were last signed in on another console. Yes, we were signed in on my Series X. Because I'm still making my way through um, Starfield. So here we go. It's got an interesting art style to it, actually. Kind of reminds me of... Um, like the Mario games, really. Uh, what was it? Um, Woolly Wonder... Was it Woolly Wonderland? And that Kirby game? Oh, did we do that Kirby game at one point? You know, the one that's all... 2D and kind of like decoupage and stuff. I can't remember what that game was called, but that was great. Anyway, this game uses an autosave system. When you see this icon on screen, do not turn off your console or remove your storage device. Okay. And I also have no audio, so allow me to fix that one second. Now we have audio. Excellent. Right, let's just dump it onto the hard drive now it's gonna oh it's probably gonna load data yeah see it says straight away free downloadable content is available with new episode and enhanced gameplay very interesting at the enhanced gameplay now then it brings this up and it's gonna ask us 
if we want to download the new stuff to which we are going to confirm naughty naughty bear episode 8 which is free we're going to confirm and then it's going to give us an error sorry there's a problem buying this or down uh, or downloading this info try this clear the cache in settings you know i haven't actually tried that and we need a uh, black coffee for this i'd wager right okay yeah maybe 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 we can have a little fiddle with that at some point so let's go play game uh yeah so uh right so i've actually only done episode one the party right so we can select episodes down at the bottom here i see and then these are different chapters of each episode i guess so i've actually only done the first two parts of the first episode all right whatever 36 percent. yeah look all the leaderboards are actually still running on the xbox interesting okay let's go let's go and be naughty so we've got some costumes here which actually change our stats which is interesting so we can put a hat on which allows us more accuracy uh free donuts included oh my god there's a lot all right there's loads of unlockable hats and stuff curious so it could be a party animal which gives us more strength i don't know what strength does maybe that allows us to do more damage should we put a party hat on sure because we're gonna have a good time all right so there's the controls whilst wearing a costume bears think you're one of them all right Mmm. Fantastical treasure is buried somewhere on the island. Let's hope it doesn't attract pirates. Mmm. Who's this? Oh look, it's Naughty Bear. Hello, Naughty Bear. What's this, Naughty Bear? What are they doing? It looks like they're waiting for something. Mm. Look, it's a boat. I wonder what it's bringing. Why, that's a very big box. I wonder what's inside it. It's a birthday cake. No. It looks like they're going to have a magnificent birthday party for Daddles. <laughs> Daddles. Look at all those presents. They look like they're hiding the cake away. Perhaps they don't want any uninvited guests to come to Daddles' birthday party. Have you been invited to Daddles' birthday party, Naughty Bear? Perhaps you've been too naughty recently. I wonder if there's something you can do about it. Did you make that for Daddles? Oh, you're such a thoughtful bear. What a shame you didn't get invited. Perhaps you should go and give it to him anyway. Maybe then he'll be your friend. Good gosh, Naughty, how insanely rude of Chubby and Giggles. And after you went to all that trouble to make a present. If I were you, I would throw that present in the fire and go and do something about all this nonsense. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, I guess we can pick up the present. Do we have a fire around here? Welcome to Naughty Bear. Do you want to know more? Sure. Okay, well, I guess we missed that. Hey, we can kick our door open. Sure, let's do that. So, we've got a bear trap on the floor. That looks fun. Oh, and a baseball bat. So, okay, I'm already sympathizing with Naughty Bear here. These bears are kind of dicks. In all fairness, that was a little bit horrendous. Cross the gate into the factory. Can we take this stick with us? Hitting and maiming. Do you want to know more? Sure. Attack by pressing X. Perform a combo by chaining X multiple times. If your attacks are blocked by an enemy, press and hold X to unleash a block-breaking charge hit. Dodge attacks by pressing Y, then immediately press X to do an upward blow and surprise your enemy. Don't forget that every weapon is different in strength and speed. Alright. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to read. 
But no matter. Ooh. Right, yeah, so if we... I remember this. If we hide around in the bushes, we become kind of invin invisible, which is good. Right, okay, so... One thing I can say right away is we have missed. We have missed the tutorial level, which kind of explains a lot. Fluffy is suspicious. Well, that won't do. I know if we destroy their escape vehicles, they can't actually escape. Which makes perfect sense. Sunbeam is hiding. Oh my. You know what? Let's just like beat this guy to death if we can. No running in <laughs> Alright. No running in my uh, island, my friend. We're just going to, like, twat him over the head with a stick until... So oh, I see. Look at the ball bearings on this guy. That was a good combo, apparently. I don't know what was good about it. Um. Alright. We actually just, like, completely froze there. I see. So, there's, there's the charge attack. Kill? Yes. Kill the bear. Wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. All right. So we picked up some cake and that gave us some health back. Are you fluffy? I can't remember which one this was called. But we're going to murderize him all the same. I mean, oh, God. It's like manhunt, but cute. I don't mind that. So I guess we can like smash everything. It probably would have been better if we had the tutorial, to be honest. Let's break their little stupid cake making machine. Um. Ah, we've got a map down there that I didn't even see. I see. Alright. So I guess there's like environmental kills and stuff. Not really sure how that works. And there's also... We need to find a fire. We've got some optional objectives down below. We can destroy the gifts. Oh, help is coming. Oh no, that won't do. I think if I remember correctly, we can sink their little boat. Which seems to be a reasonable thing to do, if you ask me. Hello, Officer Fluffy. Time to die. Well, maybe you can't sink the boat. Hey, no running. You're supposed to be like... Dude, you're supposed to be punishing me for being awfully naughty. So I'm just going to hit you. The Unibear is coming. What the hell's the Unibear? does take an awful lot to kill these guys. But maybe we can upgrade that. Alright. Now, another interesting thing... Oh, he's got an axe. Another interesting thing. If you allow enemies to witness what you're doing. Uh, that actually adds to your points. You want as many witnesses as possible. Which is fun. We do like uh, scaring the shit out of these guys. Some more cake there. I think that gives us health. Pretty sure it does. Now, we've got a present in our hand. If only we could... F oh, look. Oh, we can kill the wildlife as well. That's fun. Ah, oh, look. We got some bears hiding. Oh, a pinata. Yep, we can destroy that too. Good combo, apparently. I don't know how we got a good combo. Oh, you sneaky shit. Hello. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh. Hey, yeah, he's not getting up. <laughs> All right. Nice. Yeah, I could get into this. As long... Oh, no. There's a boat. Where's he? Ah, he's escaping from the boat. No, no, no. We don't need that. Ah, oh, he's barricaded the bloody door. Come on. Where's the boat? The boat's down here, apparently. Can we get to him before he makes his getaway? Oh, you son of a bitch. You chicken shit. That's unfortunate. Still, never mind. I'm sure we can uh, murder him another time. 
Help is coming, but where's that? Is that arriving here? Wait, did he come back? Is he coming back to help? I'm not sure. There's now two cops. Oh my. Alright, let's destroy his present. And wasn't there another present around here somewhere? I'm sure there was. Now there's also this here that we can destroy. And if we destroy that as well, I think like enemies will get distracted where we can do like the super scare technique um, and like freak them out so much that they actually go insane which is fun not really sure what we could have done with that boat oh hello oh you're just gonna shoot me straight away really like you're not gonna try and arrest me or any of that nonsense that's just it it's just execution I see well unfortunately for you friend because of that, there is going to be absolutely no mercy for you. There we go. Best thing that could have happened to him. Now, I think if we keep killing enemies in the same manner, uh, we get less points each time. So, I don't know, honestly, how to keep it fresh with the amount of weapons and things that we have. But that's okay. Let's just get through this level and see... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's just maniac. Absolutely murdered him. Right, so... Okay, I guess we've killed them all. Yay! Oh, let's kill you. So, where's the rest of the presents? Because that is apparently... Oh, look! There's a cleaver there. Jason Voorhees style. What's that? Oh, it's a gun! Very nice. We can actually pause the time there as well. Well, we can pause our little countdown anyway. So we need ah another present there. And we'll have some cake as well. Apparently that was good cake. Well, we prefer to have good cake rather than bad cake. Nobody likes bad cake. Alright, let's cook you. Now I know also somewhere. There should be, like, statues and things to destroy. There's quite a lot of stuff to destroy. Uh, it's just finding it all. That's the problem. I think our time limit is going to... Well, not our time limit, but our counter... Multiplier counter is going to drastically tick down at a rate of knots. So that's going to be the balance with this game. You're going to be constantly trying to keep your kill counter high. Um, but also, you need to keep mixing up your, like, how you're killing the enemies, which is fine, but they're going to have to, oh, hello, they're going to have to give us a lot more weapons and things, I think. Tips to make more points. Yeah, sure. Killing is fun. And uh, what we see, oh, and of what we see, you have a great time doing so. Remember though that being naughty is way more than just about killing. If you want to get higher scores you should keep the bears alive and try other tactics. This is what we like to call stressing the meat. Sabotage objects and wait until a bear uh, comes to repair it. Scare him. Place traps and leave the bears agonizing in them for everyone to see. Keep injured bears alive so everybody notices them. Let them escape so they come back with... M oh! So letting them escape is a good thing. Right. I see. Hmm. Yeah, so the tutorial that we missed out on is only like a quick two-minute thing. It doesn't really go over a huge amount. Uh, it just explains how to break machines, which is fairly self-explanatory and um you know how to use your weapons basically so it's a little bit on the pointless side pretty sure it explains about killing uh, the frogs and other wildlife as well just to keep the point ticker going okay so where was that fire then we can burn the last of the presents excellent destroy item 
Beautiful. So I didn't realize like letting the enemies escape is a good thing. That's something worth noting. All right, let's cross the bridge into the next area. Final zone. All right. Punishing the target bear. Would you like to know more? To complete an episode, you must punish a specific bear. This bear is always in the last section of the level and wears a unique funky hat. Notice the bear shown in the picture when you enter the final zone to identify your target. To punish him, either kill him or push him over the edge. Okay. Right, so we want to instill as much panic on these guys as possible. Um, there's three gifts here to destroy. And Daddles is the one that we need to uh, upset as much as possible. So we can put weapons down. I'd like to pick that back up though. We'll leave the car for now then. Keep the car ticking. We didn't really want to do that. All right, they can witness that and they can witness me burning. Oh. <laughs> Freak him out. Freak him the fuck out. That was pretty funny. Oh, we'll destroy that. Hello. Oh, what's... <laughs> yes, you little runt. So we can topple that over. Nibbles is getting in the car. That's fine. We'll allow it. So we've got... Oh, hello. I see. Look at him. Look at the brass... On this guy. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Excellent. Hello, Daddles. Right, now, now all these guys are kind of freaking out. How do we... Oh, he's repairing something. Excellent. So that is how we get the extreme points. Gotcha. Now, can we just sneak off? Right, so as soon as we sneak away into the bushes, they kind of forget about us. Wow, look at the points just racking up. That'll do. Now that's Daddles, so let's just leave him injured and in pain so everybody can see the misfortune. What is that? What weapon have we got now? Ah, oh, it's just another knife. That's fine. I don't know. All right, let's sabotage that. And I guess we can pick up the bear trap. How to use... Locate bear traps and landmines scattered around the island and use them against the other bears. To pick them up, press A. To set them, push B. Trapped bears are vulnerable to super scares and ultra kills. The landmine can only be used once, but the bear trap can be deployed as many times as you like. Watch it though, if you get trapped by your own devices, press A to get out. Alright. So. Can we? Can we place a trap? Alright. Giggles is coming to help. Well, Giggles can try and help all he likes. It's not going to get him very far. Excellent. We're discovering dead bears and all sorts. Oh, he's panicking. He's freaking the fuck out. Oh, we got achievements. We like achievements. Sabotage power source. So... Alright, that didn't work. Right, we're going to leave him injured. <laughs> They're freaking out. Oh, okay. So when they see like crazy stuff happening, that also increases the multiplier. Got ya. Daddles is just panicking like hell, which is great. Look at the points rolling in. Just enjoying the chaos. So there's no one going to try and fix. No one going to try and fix that. All right. Is anybody in my trap? 
Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm not sure the best way to get the enemies trapped then. Get the enemy bears trapped. And they don't appear to now be going. Taking any of the bait. So maybe once the fear. Oh, he's repairing something. Excellent. Where are you? There you are. Oh, that's how we do it. <laughs> yes. Run. Oh, what is that? I have no idea what that is. But we're going to use it. Oh. Oh. Okay, we placed it. Gordon is helping. Oh, oh, they're helping each other. I see, he's actually stuck on the landmine. <laughs> okay, whoa. There's just pure chaos going on. Right, we need to lay another landmine, really. Yeah, man. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Pick up that. That's another landmine. We need to get Daddles, like, stuck on this thing. There we are. Come on. Follow me. Somebody gets stuck on the mine. Whoa. It's quite enough of that. Unfortunately. Ooh. That'll do. That will do. Oh! <laughs> He's just terrified of the sheer chaos that's going on. Alright, we're starting to learn a few things here. Oh! He committed suicide. Literally committed suicide out of fear. And now he... Yep, he's killing himself as well. Excellent! This is what we want. Ah, uh, you know, let's take a gun. Why not? Shooting. We would like to know more. Grab a gun and you'll automatically change the camera to the aim mode. Switch between aim and melee mode with RB. Shoot your gun by pressing RT. When you run out of bullets, Naughty will throw the gun away. You'll just have to find another one. All right. That's fine. So we've got six bullets. And unfortunately, our scare meter is running, running down. Oh, I guess that's going to make him panic. Still got three bullets left. Daddles witnessed. Oh, whoa. Straight up execution. Unfortunately, nobody witnessed that, I don't think. Hello, friend. Wouldn't it be awful if I just sliced you up a few times? There we go. Yeah, you can fuck off now. Let's smash these machines up a little bit. Probably should have sabotaged one, actually. Right, let's unbarricade this. Daddles discovers a beaten arcade. Does that mean Daddles was here somewhere? Wow, they really did try and barricade themselves in here, didn't they? Unfortunately. Oh, no. See, that's Sod's Law. Alright. Now, I suppose we're going to want Daddles to be the last person to survive. Let's just do him in. Now, is there any other... Weapons that we can find. Ooh. What's down here? What would be good? Ooh, yes. Pick that up. We could... Drop that there. Just in case they call in any kind of reinforcements. Or if they try to escape. They ain't gonna get far. Oh, poor Daddles. Ah, oh, poor bear. Oh, 
We pushed him over the head. Over the edge, I should say. Ah. From beginner to maestro, do you want to know more? Sure. Maximize your points in a zone before getting to another one since you can't go back. Hide in the woods when it's out of control. Most bears don't see you there. It's your territory. As you become better, you'll explore and learn everything in an area. Okay. Learn everything in an area. Uh, once you know the levels, you'll be able to plan ahead and pull off crazy combos whilst your multiplayer is frozen at 100. So that's going to be the rub, isn't it? All right, let's freak him out. Goober is killing himself. All right, I think we've... Yep, yeah, we've killed everybody now. We did. And we had a fantastic time doing so. Alright, so I think this game is going to be all about learning how everything, you know, fits together, how all the levels fit together. Um, there's going to be an awful lot to it, I think. It's going to be one of those games that's probably insanely difficult to min-max. Now, where's the last present on this level? Ah, uh, I don't know. That's also going to be another problem, I think. They're going to have all sorts of things hidden away. So we've got another ice cube there. There's a lot of... Is this where we put the trap? It isn't. So there's actually a lot of um, time freeze orbs littered around the place. So where would the last present be? Because, ah, there it is. And there's a gun there as well. And a landmine. Oh, boy. Well. Let's go back to Naughty's hut. I think we have uh, achieved the Lord's work here. Time to go home. Yeah, these uh, freeze things are everywhere. Which is worth knowing. I can imagine if you get your combo locked at a uh, hundred, you really can rack the points in. I'm guessing we got gold for that. Is gold the best? I imagine it is. I don't know if there's like a platinum award or something. You've just unlocked a multiplayer only. The brainy bunny badge, really. And nobody cared. Alright. I mean that gives us a taste of the game. Um I think potentially this could be a lot of fun. I yeah, I can see it being absolutely repetitive though. Like, I'm pretty sure the little snippet of the game that we saw is that that's the gameplay loop. Yeah, we might get some more items and things a little bit later on down the down the line. But, you know, uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. If you guys want to see more of this game, maybe we can add it into the rotation at some point. But um, apart from that, that's it from me. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.